Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm back with the second iteration of One Knife, One Week. Uh, this past week, I ended up carrying the Spyderco Spidey Chef. Um, this particular model is going to be an LC 200, 200N. Um, I haven't really carried the Spidey Chef that much, but I know that it's really popular and um, I had one, so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of put it through its paces and, and see what it can do. Um, all in all, I mean, it was a great knife. Uh, I think I learned a lot about it and uh, kind of wanted to jump into it here quickly with you. Um, first of all, I'm in Northern California and it's hot as hell today, so I'm gonna try to knock this out quickly. I'm actually in my garage, obviously you can see that, um, but Ooh, I got to get out of here quickly because this is, this is getting bad. But um, the, the first uh, note that I wanted to, to say about the Spyderco Spidey Chef um, and all Spydercos writ large. So I really do enjoy the literature that um, these Spydercos come with. Um, it has a lot of the, the history and kind of, I don't know, the interesting nuances or interesting things about um, Spyderco or like the particular model that you have. I apologize. That's Amazon backing up in the background that's driving me crazy, but we're gonna try to plow right through. Um, so with this steel, so again, being LC 200, 200N, I thought it was interesting that they noted that it was actually the same sort of steel used by NASA for ball bearings. So there, there's just a lot of like really interesting tidbits in that product information and warranty guide that, um, you know, it might not be much, but I, I definitely enjoy reading it and kind of learning more about the knife that you're you're carrying. Um, Spyderco does a great job with that. Uh, the next point that I wanna make is, so you'll notice on this, I have the wire clip on there, which that's the OEM that this comes with. Um, before that I did have an, yeah, it's an RGT clip. So it looks like that. Um, I wasn't a really, really big fan of it. Um, I don't know, I just, I feel like it was a little bit unnecessary to go this route because by all accounts these wire clips are so good and as soon as i took it off um you know this being a little bit thinner of a handle having that clip on there it kind of gives you a little bit of a framework to um you know when you're holding it when you're gripping this knife um i like the added confidence that you got from having a clip that was a little bit more obtrusive than aftermarket one um the other piece uh so when i got this knife it was used um it came with a micarta show side which seemingly you would do that to make this more lightweight but what i found and one of the things i would like to caution you about is this is you know a very lightweight knife as is you don't really need to lighten it up with a micarta scale and um what i found was i don't think you can really see it but the micarta actually got soggy from just you know whatever sort of lubrication you put on the pivot etc um not worth the squeeze. So I think this knife in its you know purest form, being a full frame titanium knife, um, I don't know, I really liked it. Um, I also, I will say, so I didn't do as much like yard work or anything like that this week, but you know, when I was doing yard work, I had kind of this old like welcome mat in the back and um, I'll post a video here of me cutting it. Um, this knife was never that sharp at all. And um, you know, I just decided to, take a few swings realizing that it was kind of like a like a burlap uh welcome mat and um i just wanted to see kind of like how well it was cutting because again these spidey chefs they're actually modeled after chef knives uh, but they are for you know they're just a utility knife uh so I, I wanted to see how it would do and it did pretty well but it was definitely dull and so then i had some time and i was like hey like why don't i just break out the wicked edge and uh, see what kind of edge i can put on it um i did find out um that this one from the factory has about a 17 degree angle on it um I thought it was kind of funny. My my dad's friend has a Wicked Edge and he sent me like kind of seemingly like, oh, this is a cheat sheet for, you know, Spydercos are all this and CRKs are all this. So there's a long list and, you know, like seemingly you'd look at that and say, oh, cool, we can just set it and forget it. I don't even need to use the angle indicator or mark the mark the edge with a Sharpie to figure it out. That Spyderco said 20 this one's definitely 17 so just kind of some food for thought there like I mean it's great to get lists and you know you go on reddit and it's like hey this is kind of a little hack here my Wusthof chef knives are all you know this angle that's not always the case like figure it out yourself you'll be much happier but um after about an hour of sharpening this thing and I'll post a few pictures of all the you know <laughs> all the the metal that came off this thing this thing was just razor sharp. I mean, I, I have no experience sharpening this kind of steel, but um, 
it, it's not messing around. Like the, this stuff is, it's the real deal. Super sharp after that, it held an edge really well, but gets me into my next thing. Um, actually, well, we'll stay on, on track here. Um, so this kind of steel too, it is corrosion resistant. So if that's something like you operate in, in or around a saltwater environment, or you just a sweaty guy or gal, th this is a really good option because it is gonna be corrosion resistant. And now that it is so freaking hot in Northern California, I definitely had this in my pocket all week and I was sweating and there was no sort of, you know, no, any, no rust, anything like that. So I think it did a really good job kind of holding up and living up to its name of being a corrosion resistant material. Um, with this knife being so sharp, the one, and it might just be my knife, I, I have no idea, but what I found, so this has a, um, a Reeve integral lock on it, it's called, um, you know, so definitely like a Chris Reeve type design. Um, if you short stroke this, so if I just open it with my hand and then you'll hear it lock up, um, depending on like what that looks like, you can, you know, break the lock here. So where a normal knife, you know, I'm not firing this thing out, then it does lock up. But if you don't actually, you know, put a little ass behind this and open it up, you can break the lock very easily. Like if you don't snap it open it's not going to catch so that that was one of my cautions especially when i sharpened it and i know people say all the time a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife but a sharp knife that isn't fully locking out will easily cut your finger off so look out for that um the other thing that i noticed about this knife is my only kind of wish list for this, and I, I do like the design and what it looks like, I wish there was some sort of jimping on it because choking up on this really does feel good, but without any jimping, you don't have a lot of confidence. So I'd say, you know, over the course of the week, that's one thing, every time I picked this up to use it, I was like, man, this, this would be really great if it uh, had some jimping. And the last thing that I wanted to say was with the way this, you know, Reeve Integral Lock works, um, you know, conceivably all day, it has a cut out there, the spidey hole to use your thumb to open it. Um, what I would have liked to see though is, I, I know that Spyderco would never do this, but if you are flicking this with your pointer finger, um, it's not as comfortable as if, uh, it, it would be more comfortable if they made this kind of what's on a strider. So a little bit more of like a boxy hole so you could kind of fit your finger in there and it would, would roll off easily uh, to open. But other than that, really, uh, no problems. Um, I really do think if you had to choose one knife, a Spyderco Spidey Chef could be that knife. And, um, you know, they're a very popular knife and I definitely see why. So definitely enjoyed uh, carrying this thing this week. Um, I'm not sure what my next knife project is gonna be, probably a Strider SMF, I think, just cause I haven't carried it in a while. But, um, you know, wanted to give you guys an update with my uh, one knife, one week. So uh, with that, hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay cool, hydrate, and uh, we'll see you next time.